Hiya. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lavish V here. And thank you so much to each and every one of my subscribers. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. And for those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here is hair, beauty, makeup, vlogging, and everyday life. Things I love and enjoy, and I think it would be useful to you. I bring it here on my channel. And I do a lot of perfume reviews, bland buys, and so on, some fashion, some film, and just, yeah. So please hit the subscription button, watch all my videos, give me a big thumbs up, and share and comment on each of my videos. I would really appreciate that. Now, in today's video that I've got for you, it's all about my natural hair. So basically what happened is, um, back in 2019, in July, I went in and shaved all my hair off while I was pregnant with my number seven baby. Um... What happened? My hair started breaking. I think hormonal rages and so on. And I was just not happy with having hair that is breaking or going a wall. So I went ahead and shaved all my hair myself. And I was left with a bald head. And I've shown the picture and that was my pregnancy picture. So don't mind my face on it. So yes. So I cut all my hair off and we are now in October. And yes, October 2020. So that is 16 months. Yes, so from July to July is 12 months. Then from July to October it is 16 months yep and my baby is one now he was born in october so yeah at the time when i cut my hair i was heavily pregnant and maybe some pregnancy brain because i did have a lot of hair so i don't know why i cut my hair off but yeah like i said it was breaking and i can't do the breaking hair um anyways now this is my natural hair it's um a bit light in the front but i th i think if i didn't stop relaxing my hair and went and trim it off and went natural i would not even have any hair at all in the front because those are the weak areas your hairline and the center of your head when your hair start to go wrong that's the bit that go wrong first so yes i i did make a change for the better i believe with regards to my hair and going natural and i'm i've started to do some video videos um on the process of growing my hair i lost some of my footage because I was having a uh, storage difficulty and I deleted a lot of videos. I didn't realize I deleted some of those by accident. So, but thank God I have some photos of the journey and um, I make sure that I show you the date and time when the photo was taken and um, yeah. And presently now in 2020, um this hair that i've got like i said it's all natural and let me give you a twirl i'm gonna take um my hair band out so you can see the full extent of hair growth that i have um and the next bit of the video after this one it's going to be um, how I prepare and what I use in my hair for wash day, what I do. So, so yeah, that's my hair. 
all of it in its natural form. I did use um, this here, this um, edge control, um, edge wax, and this hard brush to slick it back. And that's why it was looking so slick. And let's see. So if if I open up my hair, it's it's got hair um down here now, and it has been a journey, but I use my skills and the knowledge I've got of some products and stuff like that. I did not use any rice water. I have not used any aloe vera. And the process was quite um, easy and and cheap. It's been a budgeting hair growth because um, I was on my seventh baby and I wasn't about to start spending a lot of money. And time is what I don't really have. So it's been a low maintenance and and cheap hair growing routine that i've developed and done for myself and i hope that um it will be inspiring to you and i don't want to carry on too much because i will be doing um the videos in bit by bit um to show you how i've cared for my hair and stuff like that so yes next part you will be seeing is going to be on um the washing of my hair what i use pre-wash during wash and what i do after wash washing sorry then on another video number two i will show you how, how what have i've been using to oil my hair how to oil your hair and stuff like that so stop babbling now next part it's how i wash my hair mm -hmm. so this bit is where i show you this is pre-wash my hair is dirty and let me show you what i do before washing my hair before i wash my hair i get coconut oil this one and i get some onion and some cloves of garlic cut up so i and let's not forget some castor oil so yes what i do is i use the onion first or garlic and i rub it in on the all around my hairline then section the hair with my hand and rub the scalp yep this is a quick one just to show you the method so you gently massage it in see make sure it's everywhere i don't want the video to be too long and as you know i'm not good at editing so it's morning and no makeup nothing there as i'm there then the garlic now and basically you follow the same method you follow the same method and you just keep sectioning the hair where I'm rubbing this is on my scalp so I normally put the onions and 
the garlic and the scab so you keep on sectioning and putting moving on i would go in now with my um with my um oils and rub it from the hair line again so you can put as much as you like but make sure it's enough not too little just put it this one moisturizes the hair and keep it then you open sections and you rub in i'm trying to do it quickly but basically you get the idea then after the coconut oil i put some generous amount of the castor oil then rub it up like this and go in with the same what you wanna do with the castor oil now you wanna basically get this one more on the hair ends and so yeah this one still on the roots but you want to get this castor oil all the way through your hair your hair will look like this so that's you are treating from root to ends make sure the castor oil is a lot in the beginning to end so then you're gonna go in now with magic fingers and you want to do um clockwise rotation and oh that feels good even though i'm doing it myself it feels so good anti-clockwise clockwise whatever you just keep on doing that and oh this is so nice and you keep on massaging it in and you get the picture so you massage so i'm gonna keep massaging mine but then let me show you the the touch that you do so this is some king film once you have finished um oiling well garlic and onion then you go ahead why is this thing messing about when I'm in serious mode? It's playing about. Okay, so you go ahead and you get your king film. And you just wrap it um, a few times cover it yeah then you're gonna leave this on for at least half an hour and then um i'm going to wash and i'll show you what i do with the washing so next scene is the washing so i'll wait for it to marinate and um treat my hair with the properties that's in the onion and the garlic and the oils and make my hair well moisturized and hydrated and yep so guys an half an hour has passed so oh it's very sweaty take that one off and i'm in the bathroom and what you will need is a white tooth comb, some shampoo, and some conditioner. It doesn't matter to me which one. 
I use whatever shampoo my hands can reach and this one today is this Garnier one and yep I'm gonna go in and wash start washing my hair and I'm gonna come back and show you how I truly wash my hair so I've got my towel here ready and yes let me start Yeah, I've wet up my hair now. I really like to lather up my hair with 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 water is dropping in my eye. So I can't wash my hair like this like I see some people washing their hair just like this like this like this I can't I do not wash my hair like that I have to wash my hair with the base of my fingertip and massage the scalp and to get all the bacteria from the scalp and the dirt so yeah I can't understand how people gonna be washing their hair and not their scalp and oh i must add my scalp feels nice and warm and the massaging it feels so good this is the first shampoo and i like to go in and get all massaging is so good for your hair it stimulates the hair follicle and help your hair to grow so yeah first shampoo and make sure your massaging technique is going good and then I understand that Yes, then once you finish, then you can go ahead and do some work, some stretching and some detangling motion to wash the hair itself. I'm, I'm gonna repeat this process for another two times then I'll come back when I'm doing the conditioner in so yeah yes so I've washed it three times and now I'm gonna put a generous amount of conditioner on it like this I need a lot more in the back. Let me see in my mirror. So once I put the conditioner on, leave it a few minutes before I'm gonna start to comb it out my hair feels nice and soft and it's got a lot of elasticity can you see that yep so I'll wait for a few minutes then come back and do some combing I've waited some minutes 
now so I can go in and give the hair a comb so do start from end to tip don't follow me from end to root I meant sorry but I know my hair and it's not tangled so I can just I have a little dead hair, can you see that? But that's nothing because I haven't washed my hair for a couple of weeks, maybe two weeks now. And I didn't, I didn't comb it out properly either. So I do expect some tangling. This is real life situation I have a baby um, so I'm gonna do this video in part tips tips Tips. That's why you need a white wood comb so that you can um, comb the hair without damaging it. Let me see in the mirror. I can't see in this mirror. I'm trying to get out all the little dead hairs that's on the tip and I'll show you the amount of hair I lost yeah it's pretty much detangled now these little brown bits I try when I cut my hair off I try to experiment and put some color on it on it when it was bald headed and <laughs> I didn't like it anyway I let it grow out and, and I kept trimming it so I've almost gotten rid of all of it now so yeah this is all new hairs it took me a few months over a year just over a year to grow my hair to this but i'm happy with the results it's real hair y'all see real hair anyways let me stop rinse this out and then um because i left it for some minutes already no need to leave it any longer the next one i'll show you how what i do when i'm drying my hair so this is me um mm -mm -mm. that's the hair i lost it's oh it fell so that's the amount of hair I combed out of my hair. What's that flying around? Mm -mm -mm. So yes, this is me. Um, it's still very, very wet. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna, my baby's up now. So don't cry, sweet boy. I'm coming. I just wanna show them two twists. So I'm putting a little bit of castor oil. Mm 
then I part the hair out like this. <laughs> baby, 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 don't cry. So, yep, I do that. So, it's combed out and then I twist it like this. So this is my drying method. Look at my little nappy hair. <laughs> so and then I make we call this um so yeah can you see I do it like that and I will continue the process comb from tip this is a smaller tooth comb I'm coming I'm coming baby come Mwah. hello good morning here. Here, take this. Here you go, baby. So, yeah, I won't be able to keep videoing right now because he's up. So, I'm just gonna show you a second one. Here, take this. Talk to your brother. Yes, he's up and he's doing something here. I'm gonna have to go and attend to him. So, can you see? That's all I'll continue it all the way. When it's dried, I'll come back. So this is the best I could do because he woke up so that's it. <laughs> so that's the best I got done. So now I'm putting a bit of coconut oil on the scalp again. <sighs> I'm gonna leave it to dry so naturally. And then I'm going to come back with a protective style. Sometimes if I'm not going anywhere and I'm sure there's nowhere to go, I just leave my hair like this for some days. And that's protective enough. But I would have done it better than this and a bit smaller. But because he's crying, he's more important than my hair. So. <laughs> I am gonna let it dry like I said and then I'll come back with a protective style so yes